What's up folks, Dave Swift here. So I manage websites for a few dozen clients and there's one question that I get continually asked. It's, hey Dave, can you set up one of those cookie consent banner things for us? If you're running a business website and you're using tools like Google Analytics, the Facebook Pixel, basically anything that tracks your users, you need some way to get consent before those cookies start tracking people. If you play silly games, you'll win silly prizes and I don't think you want these prizes. So the good news is, this this doesn't need to be complex or expensive. I used to think it was expensive and I've seen people just grab free, you know, WordPress plugins that pop up a little thing and they don't really do anything. And honestly, that is not enough. So the good news here is I'm going to show you exactly how to get set up. If you've got a small website, this is going to be completely free. If you've got a little bit bigger website, it's going to cost you as little as eight bucks a month. Let's get into it. By the way, this video is sponsored by UserCentrix, the company behind CookieBot CMP, the tool I'm about to show you, but this is also the tool I am now recommending to my own clients. So before you click away thinking this is just some sales pitch, I actually want to help you out. I'm going to walk you through the entire setup process, show you how it works, what to look out for, and then you can decide whether or not this is the right solution for your cookie consent banners. All right, let's get into it. Here is the CookieBot website. And by the way, I've got a link for this down below in the description. If you click that before signing up, it does help out the channel. We're going to go ahead and check out the pricing here and just get right into the free trial. I want to point out there is a completely free plan if you've got less than 50 pages on your website. And if it's a business kind of portfolio site, you might never have more than 50 pages. You'll be able to use this tool for free forever. If you got a little bit bigger website, again, starting as low as eight bucks. Well, all right, let's get into this. I'm going to click right up here anywhere on the website. You'll see this blue button that says start free. Click that. And then after a short onboarding, you'll give them a username and password. No credit card required. You'll be able to add your very first domain. So I'm going to add in the domain serversavant.com. That's just my demo website. I use it for videos like this. I'm going to add the domain here. If you're in the onboarding, it's going to look slightly different. It's going to ask for like your country as well, but essentially that is the entire process. And then you'll go into the configuration steps. There are some legislation presets, by the way. And if you're like me, you might see this and kind of be like, well, I want to click them all. I want to be compliant everywhere, but you can't do that. You can only select one. So if you want to be most compliant, choose G. GDPR. That is going to be the most overreaching or should I say the strictest compliance policy. So if you choose that, chances are you'll be most compliant in other countries. But don't worry, we can customize this later. Next up, we get to design what the actual prompt looks like, the cookie consent banner component. But keep in mind, there is more to this tool. It actually scans your website to see what cookies you're using, and then it will block them so that when users come to your website, the cookies don't start working until consent is actually given. That is the important part that most of the free tools just don't do, but CookieBot does perfectly. So we'll get into all of that shortly. First of all, let's get this thing looking on brand, which you can completely style so it looks very nice. Another sore spot for other tools that I've used is they're just flat out ugly. So we've got basically two options here in terms of the layout. We've got the dialogue, kind of like the modal pop-up, or if you prefer the banner look, you can do that as well. I'm going to stick with dialogue for now, and I'm going to use the overlay effect. For design options, you can go simple, choose light, choose dark, whatever you prefer. But if you want to use custom colors, that is also an option. Now I've got my website up over here. I'm just going to grab a couple of the colors that I want to customize. I'm going to do that behind the scenes to not bore you, but I'll be right back. All right, I've already got my highlight color, which is like these colors up here. I'm also going to change the buttons. Right now they're a really dark blue, but I'm going to use this kind of purplish blue that's currently on my website. So I'll choose a little dropper here and show you how this works. All right, boom, there we go. You can see it's updating here in real time. I love the preview as I'm working. It makes it very obvious as to what I'm actually changing. And I appreciate that. We'll be able to change the layout of this entire banner as well. Like if you don't like all of these toggle switches, you can get rid of them here. And I'll show you that in a moment. I'm almost done setting up my colors. Okay, there we are. That looks pretty good to my eyes. Now I can also add in my logo. Why don't I do that here? To add the logo, you simply just drag and drop it right into this little well. And it's just going to populate up over here where you can see this little placeholder is. So here's my logo, dropping it in, and it looks really small in the preview, but keep in mind that you'll never be looking at the preview this small. You'll never look at the actual consent banner this small. It'll look good when it's up on the website. So here it is. It looks good. Trust me, we'll see it in a minute. Now, in terms of the actual compliance options, these can be a little bit confusing. So let me just walk you through them. The first one is called method. And basically that's saying like, what happens when someone lands on the website? Well, we can either choose explicit consent or implied consent. Explicit consent means like 
you got to answer this banner or you can't use our website. That's what most people should probably leave on. However, if you want to be a little bit more lenient and you know that it's actually legal in your area, you can choose implied consent, which will allow the user to continue to browse through the website, even though they have not responded to the cookie consent banner. Now I mentioned before we can change this layout. So right now I've got what they call a multi-level layout. I actually like this because then the user can set exactly what they want to give permission to. So it's probably the most privacy friendly way to go about things. But I also know from a marketing perspective, this might feel like overwhelmed to a lot of people. So if you want to go with something more simple, you can just say like, okay, allow all, or even just say, okay, and really narrow things down. In fact, we can get rid of multi-level altogether and just add in a single button. There's a bunch of options here. You can scroll through them. The preview makes it very clear in terms of what everything looks like. So choose which one you think will be best for your users. You can always change it later after you get things things deployed. For me, I'm going to go with the busy option here and just leave all of the switches on. And then down below at the bottom here, our last setting, this is my favorite part. You can choose exactly what countries or what parts of the world you want to actually see this banner, even down to a state level here in the United States. So if I wanted to show the banner to everybody in the EU, but also to everyone in the Americas, but not the entire Americas, because that's quite a large space, I could choose Northern America, United States, and let's say, I don't know how about Colorado and California they're also going to see the banner now this is great because some people don't want to have a banner on their website but they know that they need to legally and this way they can be compliant where they need to be compliant other people feel that privacy is very very critical and you should know what I am tracking when you come to visit my website so for those people they can just go ahead and choose all visitors right here and then everybody who hits your website is going to see the consent banner I'll leave that decision up to you and your legal team for now I'm gonna leave it on all visitors so we can actually see what this thing looks like because I'm not in either Colorado or California all right we're gonna head over to the next tab here which is the actual content now a really nice thing here is that it can actually detect cookiebot itself can detect the language on your website and automatically translate it for the visitor so you can leave this toggled on if you like but if you want to have a default language you can do that as well we can add a language right here there are plenty to choose from now all of the text, everything we saw in the mock-up on the previous page, all that text is customizable over here. So you can go ahead and change the button text. You can be more humorous, but be clear. You can make it be on brand with your company. And I really appreciate that. I mean, there's a lot of text here, so you could really go crazy and modify everything. But for me, like I just want it to be compliant. So I probably recommend just leaving it as is unless you really know your stuff. The last tab over here is what they call privacy. This is the privacy trigger. So there's gonna be a little button that lives in the lower left-hand corner. Well, that's the default position. You can position it on any corner if you prefer. That's gonna allow someone to go back in and change their privacy settings. Now you can turn this off and look, I understand why you might want to. That space is very valuable. You probably have your AI chatbot down there, maybe a support widget. There's a lot of stuff floating in our corners these days on our websites. So I get that this space is very valuable. I wouldn't blame you for turning this off, but if you do turn it off, they recommend here that the content privacy is not enabled. You'll need to implement the declaration manually on your website. The declaration is this right here. It basically is a list of all of the cookies that are currently running on the website. You'll need to have that somewhere if you turn off the privacy trigger in order to remain compliant. All right, and with that, I'm done. I can hit save changes here and I'm ready to deploy this thing. Implementation is super easy. This is going to work on any website, whether you hand coded it or you're using Wix or WordPress or anything, you'll be able to deploy it. There is a script here that you can embed, but if you're a WordPress user, I'm going to show you the WordPress plugin to get it set up using that. The only thing I'm going to need over in WordPress is this domain group ID. I'm just going to copy this right here. And then over in your WordPress admin, you're just going to go to plugins, add new, and then search for CookieBot. It's going to be the first response that shows up. It's already installed on, I think, 100,000 different websites. Yeah, here we go. Really positively reviewed. So just go ahead and install and activate this. You're going to see CookieBot living over here on the left-hand sidebar. Go ahead and click on that. And then all we need to do is connect up our account because we've already set up everything. We're going to choose this one right here, connect my existing account. Then I'm going to paste in that group ID that I copied when I just left CookieBot a moment ago. We'll hit connect account here. It's going to go ahead and reload and our account is 
is now connected. We can control a lot of the settings we saw in CookieBot right over here in the settings, but most of the stuff I'm just going to head over to CookieBot to change, to be honest with you. But if you want to go ahead and turn off the banner, like let's say it's not working, you want to change something, you can toggle it off briefly and then just make sure you hit save changes. There's also the option for like how the cookies are being blocked before someone actually gives consent. I recommend leaving it on automatic, but if you are a sleuth and want to have another method, you can set it up manually, but I'm not going to do that for sure. And there we go. This is what my cookie consent banner looks like. I can change the toggles. I can go into the details and find out what cookies it actually found. You can see there's 19 marketing cookies on my demo website. And if I click into the marketing settings here, I can see exactly what cookies there are. I've got one from Google. I'm running Google Analytics on this website and also YouTube. I've got some YouTube videos embedded and there's cookies for that. I need to get consent before I allow YouTube to start tracking my users. So I'm going to click allow all and now I'm free to use my website and here is one of those embedded videos. Back over in CookieBot, if you click on domains and then choose the domain that you're working on, you're going to see the domain overview where you can see how they've actually scanned your website. So this is going to happen automatically every single month. But maybe you add in another, I don't know, let's say analytics platform and you want to make sure that cookie gets loaded into your tracking. Well, you can do a manual scan right down here or if for some crazy reason you want to have it daily scans, you can pay 99 euros per month and it will automatically scan your website every single day. I don't know very many people that would get benefit out of that. I think doing the monthly scans is perfect. Then you can kind of set it and forget it, not really ever need to worry about it. And your consent process will always be up to date. So that is CookieBot, and like I said before, this is the solution I'm gonna be using on all of my client websites from here on out. If you wanna get started for yourself, I do have a link down below, and if you click that, it does help support this channel. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, definitely hit me up in the comments. I'll try to answer everybody. If you like this video, make sure you click like, hit subscribe if you're new around here, and I will see you in the next one.